Hey there, Rachel Scott for ABC News here in Miami and right now I am at an evacuation center in Miami. This is a high school, um, Northwest Senior High School and I have um, um, Ahmed here with me. Ahmed, you evacuated, you got here yesterday. Tell me about where you evacuated from. So I live in uh, Miami Shores and um, we were sort of forcibly uh, evacuated from Miami Shores. Um, we were told that we have to uh, stay in the shelter and unfortunately I had plans to leave the city uh, prior to that but it just didn't come to fruition so here I am in the shelter. So how has it been? Um, the principal inside told me that there are about a thousand people that are here in this shelter and they are not turning anyone away so anyone that does come here is going to get some protection from the storm as it is approaching so how's it been inside? Is it, is it really busy? Is it is it packed or do you have cots to sleep on or mattresses? Um, well, we don't have mattresses to sleep on, uh, unfortunately. However, they are taking good care of us. Um, it's not as it's not at capacity as of yet, um, but they uh, the American Red Cross is here, the National Guard. Uh, there's a strong police presence, uh, so it's pretty secure, uh, pretty safe, um, and they are um, you know providing multiple meals a day, um, uh, free of charge for those who need it. So that's quite quite nice of them. I know other shelters are not doing that. Um, having said that, uh, overall, uh, despite the fact that we don't have any mattresses or anything to sleep on, um, it's been quite a good experience thus far. Wow. And I know Signal is a little bit shaky. Keep up with us. Obviously, we're dealing with a little bit of conditions here. It has started to rain here. Um, we are getting a little burst of a wind as well. And so for you, I mean, did you ever imagine that you would be evacuating, that you would be having to stay in one of these shelters? Uh, absolutely not. Um, you know, my first impression is to leave the city. Uh, I'm not from Miami. So um, that didn't come about. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll ride out the storm. Um, but we, again, we were forcibly evacuated um, and we were brought here. Uh, in fact, we were told to um, seek multiple shelters um, at, that, at that point or at capacity. Um, I'm referring to yesterday afternoon. So um, we were brought here. Um, I, was, I came around 2 or 3 p.m. Um, but again, it's, it's despite the fact that we are sleeping on the floor, um, they are taking good care of us. They're providing us with water, with nutrition. Um, there's a family residence or a family area for family members and there's uh, areas for single members so um, and so far it has been quite safe um, and um, while I cannot say it's been a pleasure it's been um, it could have been a lot worse. All right, Alma, Alma, I want to thank you so much. Um, we're going to take a walk outside right now and see. I know, bear with us here. I know that our signal is breaking up a little bit. I'm going to take a walk outside of the shelter to see if our if our signal does build. Again, we are at an evacuation center. There are about 1,000 people here um, so far, over 1,000, and they are not turning anyone away. So anyone that needs shelter is going to be able to get it from Miami Northwestern. Deal with me here as I walk outside. Uh, the winds are building. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit louder for you guys. The winds are building here and we are starting to get a little bit of rain. If we still have signal and we're keeping up with signal, I'm going to walk over just to show you a little bit of sort of the debris and damage that is happening here in Miami already as this storm does approach us. Um, it has been a complete ghost town in most areas. I just drove by Miami Beach and there is absolutely no one there in what seems to be like a very busy area normally. Um, that is that is not the case as people are preparing for the storm. So. Um, a lot of people are getting out of town. Obviously, there are still some people that are sticking around, but gas stations have closed. Grocery stores, as of 5 p.m. or 4 p.m. yesterday, closed as well. And so people are getting those last minute supplies that they need as of yesterday, and now they're hunkering down, preparing for the storm. I'm gonna flip the camera around. And here we are, uh, we are in Miami. We're on uh, Northwestern uh, 20, 71st Street and 10th Avenue. And you can see some of the debris that is here already. And this is, this is happening in many streets across Miami. We're getting some of the debris just like this. Trees that have fallen down, branches that have broke. Um, and obviously this is blocking a street. Luckily this is not a major street that it is blocking, but this is just a sign of the beginning of Hurricane Irma as it makes its path down here. We are starting to see 
fallen debris on roads like this and so pe police are reminding people to stay out of the area to stay safe um that we have seen i've been able to see a little bit of of the debris that has fallen there there's multiple you know branches that have fallen down as well as some people on the freeway we saw a ladder earlier that fell off of a truck that was sitting in the middle of the freeway so certainly dangerous roads uh, that we're getting here in Miami as we continue to prepare and brace ourselves for Hurricane Irma. I'm going to flip around. The winds are starting to pick up. It has been raining on and off here. And again, a sign of Hurricane Irma as that gust of wind came and completely broke this branch as you can see here broke this branch and now this is lying in the middle of the street here luckily again this is not a major street we're starting to get another gust of wind and a little bit of rainfall here and that has been going on and off and so officials are urging people they're reminding people to stay off of the roads if you can if you are in an area that isn't an evacuation zone police are reminding people and officials are reminding people to call 311 for help do not wait to do that they say do it today because after the storm hits they are not going to be able to get to people immediately because they do not want to put other first responders or police officials in danger so that is one thing that they are urging people today to do as well as obviously continue to stay safe think think hard think fast and also you know think protectively if you're in your house in the bathroom they want you to fill up fill up your bathtub with water fill up some of your sinks with water take those precautionary measures to ensure that you and your family are safe and we are going to be continuing continuing to cover this storm so please do download the abc news app we're going to have hurricane irma alerts on there as we continue to tra track this storm as it makes its way towards florida and again i'm going to leave you with this last image right here of this fallen tree branch behind me just one sign of the wind that is starting to approach this area and again we're going to continue to bring you those updates so stick with abc news for now i'm rachel scott in miami Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.